everybody. This is Heather at the Hammond Library. I want to come on um, today and um, kind of finish up our um, our January like repurpose things. Uh, the last episode we did was um, uh, we how to reuse your old calendars. Well, this time I'm going to show you what to do with all your leftover candy canes. Because if you're like us, you bought a lot of extra candy canes for your Christmas tree and they didn't get eaten. And a lot of people are on diets right now. So I'm not going to show you how a recipe had one that you would eat. This is something that you would use. And it's also a cute gift because the Valentine's coming up. And you can also use it for gifts for um, Valentine also. So what today we're going to make is peppermint lip scrub. So it's really easy. All you need is three things. Uh, peppermint candy. If you don't have peppermint candy canes left over, that's fine. Just use regular peppermint, hard peppermint candy you find in the store. And if you don't like peppermint, you can also use the spearmint uh, pepper, uh, candies also. Um, you'll need to make sure you get um, unrefined virgin coconut oil. Make sure it's the unrefined and the virgin coconut oil. Um, you need that and sugar. That's the only three ingredients you need. Now the other things you need just to help make it, you know, get it mixed up. You're gonna need uh, an airtight container. You need an airtight container to uh, put it in, um, and just some uh, spoons and and a measuring spoon and a little uh, container to mix it in. Okay. And also you're gonna need um, if you don't have like a little mixer or grinder. You can also take these um, candies and put them in a Ziploc bag and just crush them up with a, a, a rolling pin or a hammer. Just make sure they're, if you use the hammer, make sure they're um, in a bag or something that, you know, where the metal won't touch the candy. Um, but I'd recommend using, um, if you have it, a blender, grinder, or food processor. Okay, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna open up your candy, candy cane, and you're gonna break it up. I do got some here that I've already ground up, but then you just take your candy cane, break it, you make sure it's just in kind of a small pieces. It doesn't have a lot of tiny pieces. You just make sure you get all your plastic off and you um, put that to the side. I'm gonna um, put my little lid on it, my little my blade on it. Just be careful if you let the kids use this, just be careful with with the children with this. So let me make sure I can get this right. It's going to be loud. Okay. And two, I needed to get my little powder kind of ground back up because it, it's sitting. It got a little. Let's see. <laughs> Inside, that's all that took. Just kind of get my powder, my candy powder. Oh, I'm gonna take that off, put that to the side. Okay, now I wish I could smell that. It smells so good. Okay, now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tablespoon. This takes ta just a tablespoon. It's a tablespoon of sugar, and I start with sugar because the um. And if you want to make a big batch of this, I did make a one batch already, and it only filled up half of this little container. So I'd recommend if you want to use these size containers, or if you want to give them as gifts, you'll probably have to triple the recipe. And after the program, I will be putting the, um, a PDF uh, link for you to have um, the full recipe on you, okay? So we're just gonna do one tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to go ahead and put my two tablespoons of uh, ground up candy cane. And I made sure I did my oil last because I didn't want the powdery stuff to stick together. I'm just going to close that up, save that for later. Now this does last up to six days. So just make sure it doesn't have to be... Um, in the refrigerator or anything like that, just make sure that um, it's in an airtight, airtight container. Okay, get all my oil off. 
my coconut oil. It smells so good. It smells like a certain coconut candy. <laughs> To the side and I'm just going to use my uh, spatula here and just mix it together and that's all it's going to do. You just got to make sure you get it all incorporated together real good with that oil. It does take a couple of minutes but not long. I'm just going to use it. And this is something I know your kids might like to help you with. And it's really good for your lips. And, and, it's, and it's something if you accidentally get it in your mouth, you can't eat all this. This is all edible ingredients. And if, now I'm going to be honest, this um, oil, this coconut oil, it's kind of overpowering the peppermint. When you do the scroll itself, you will taste the peppermint. But if you want to smell the peppermint more than the coconut, you can also use um, the essential oils that is made for like food you can use just make sure it's food safe you know so just if you do ingest this it's you know it's safe for you but this right here is just as simple as it gets to you just need your candy canes your coconut oil and your sugar and like i said this does last for six days i'm almost done mixing it up And it doesn't take much, see, and that's already, it's already put kind of together. And that's all it takes. You just really want to incorporate them, all the ingredients together. Now, what I'm going to do is just take this and add this to my thing yesterday. I do, but do make sure you put the day on it, that it was made for yesterday, okay? That way you'll know when your six days are up. Yeah, and two batches may uh, fill this container up. So if you want to use this size of a container, I mean, if you have a small one, that's fine too. But this size of container worked really good for it. It had two batches. So you would just need, uh, if you want to double it up, it'll just be two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and uh, four tablespoons of um, candy canes. And I did use the candy canes, so it usually takes, I think it was about four. I'd say about four candy canes made enough to make a, you can probably get a tablespoon of candy canes out of each candy cane. But if you use the smaller candies, uh, you'd have, you'll probably have to judge for yourself because I had the candy canes. But this is all it takes and like I said, Valentine's is coming up. And this is making a, this would make a really cute, um, of course you would have to make it maybe the day before, but it would make a really cute, um, Valentine gift, um, maybe for a teacher or for your kids, um, teachers or, or nurseries or whatever, you just don't know what to give. This would be a cute little idea and it would help get rid of all your candy canes. Well, I hope y'all enjoy that. Please let me know in the comments below if you tried it and you liked it. Um, there are a hundred different things you can do with candy canes um, out there, your leftover candy canes. This is just one of the ones I thought was more simple and um, easier to use, and especially for the holiday coming up also. So I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see y'all next time.